elephants normally come when we are about to harvest the crops. A lot of people have been killed by elephants. So the relationship between the elephants and the people around this community, it's so bad. We are living in the borders of Wange National Park. When we talk of borders, we know of fences, we know of all those things that try to separate. But with us here, it's only a tarred road that really separates communal land and the forest land where elephants and other predators come from. The wildlife don't know that this is a demarcation that you shouldn't cross here. So we all invade into each other's space. In the past four weeks, we have had six elephants that have been killed. It's a shame because it's not helping anyone and we are losing our elephants. If the elephants are killed, yes, we have protected our crops, but that's a short-term solution. Two weeks down the line, they will be back again. For so long, the local people have been seen as the enemy of wildlife conservation because they are the poachers, they are the ones who are chopping down trees. But I believe that with proper education, with proper interventions, local people are a very important part of conservation and with time we can solve this human and wildlife conflict issue. Realizing the potential that we have as a community and what we are missing then we formed the Kobane Trust is a Nambia name, meaning let's share. We seek to bring peaceful coexistence between wildlife and communities around wildlife. Rural communities are around Wange National Park. Their only source of livelihood is farming, farming crops or farming livestock like cake and goats and sheep. So one of the most special work that we do as an organization is promoting of animal welfare. For rural communities to take care of elephants, to take care of lions and rhinos around them. They really need to start with the animals that they interact with on a daily basis. So we have a weekly clinic where we move around the communities looking after their animals, administering some basic medication. We also educate people on the dangers or repercussions of poaching. For anti-poaching to work, communities have to be educated. Communities have to know the reason why they should protect these animals. What's the greatest thing that you like about living in this area? It is a very great opportunity because other countries, they don't have the chance to see the animals. Young people are the future in the conservation sector, so we have involved our kids to know what's really happening around them. We also do work with communities in educating them about animal behavior. In the past 20 years, we have been having serious conflict, especially with elephants. So we have been experimenting with using an elephant repellent that is eco-friendly. It's a mixture of chilies, garlic, ginger, and other ingredients. When the elephants hear that smell, they will not even come close to the fields of which we are saving the elephants, we are also saving the community crops. There are a lot of challenges that we are faced with. Things are tough for everyone, but we keep pushing. The elephant repellent has been so successful. However, it takes a lot of resources for us to get some of the ingredients, we have to go as far as Blawai, which is around 400 kilometers from here. But we really do our best to work it out because we have seen the results. We have a potential as a community. Let's come together and work together and build a better future for our kids, for our people, and for our wildlife and environment.